In this video, we'll look at the electron geometry of CH4. This is methane. So we start with Lewis structures. This is one way you could draw it with the electrons, a pair of electrons between atoms, or you could put a line to represent two electrons. You'll see it both ways. So the question is, what is the electron geometry? So when we look at a Lewis structure here, the hydrogens, they spread out to be as far away as possible as they can from each other. But we're only looking at it in two dimensions here. So this really doesn't give us a good picture. Let's look at this in three dimensions. So the purple, that'll be our central carbon atom. We're going to add four hydrogen atoms on it. One, two, they're spreading out, three, and then four. And that really gives us that three-dimensional molecular geometry here. So we can see the molecular geometry, tetrahedral. The electron geometry, it's also tetrahedral, and that's because there aren't any lone pairs. So for example, if we had a lone pair, it might look like this. So the lone pair, that's a pair of electrons that are not between atoms. They're not involved in a bond. But we don't have any lone pairs here with methane. It's just CH4. So the molecular geometry is tetrahedral, and the electron geometry, that's tetrahedral as well. Let's go back to our Lewis structures. So based on the Lewis structure here for CH4, the electron geometry, that's going to be tetrahedral. Here's a summary for CH4. This is Dr. V with the electron geometry for CH4 methane. Thanks for watching.